Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put a tachometer on a 1994 Geo Tracker. This is the 16 valve version. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing as the Suzuki Sidekick. But yeah, we're gonna be installing this tachometer right here. It's an auto gauge one from Amazon. The things that we need for this project are tachometer of course right and here are the wires here's the tachometer we need to have a, uh, a couple of fuse taps you don't actually need these but I feel like these are better than just like like uh, splicing a wire through the fuse box uh, a little bit they're a little bit safer so we need a couple of these two should be good we need some wire uh, and then we have some T taps here you don't, again, you don't really need these, but these are just like a more secure way to to tap into a wire. And then of course we need a crimping set. So we got this thing and we got all the different connections. So yeah, those are all the tools that we need. And so the way we're gonna connect this is by we need to have one wire coming off the ignition coil. Uh, we're gonna be running it off the negative. So I made a big mistake. You don't wire it to the black and white wire. You wanna wire it to the red and white wire. I'm gonna repeat, the red and white wire. Wire it to the red and white wire, not the black and white wire. So that's one thing that we need. And then we also need a source for power, a source for lights, and um, a place that we can ground the circuit. So. Over here, if you look under the steering wheel, the fuse box for the tracker is right up here. So we're gonna get the power supply from this fuse and the lighting supply from this fuse. And of course, ground, uh, we're just, we can find one of those. They're all over the tracker. Uh, yeah, overall, that's how we would set up the tachometer. So first off, I'm gonna try to splice or to tap into this cable using the t-tap and then i'm going to run uh, that wire from from here all the way around the engine um and there's a hole right here actually so i'm going to 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 run that wire down here and then from down there i'm going to i'm going to get the wire which comes from which is going to come out of there I'm going to just run it around, maybe run it through there. And then I'll probably attach the tachometer like somewhere around in this area. But yeah, that's the first step. So let me try to do that. We got our, our T tap and we have, I'm just going to be using some pliers because those, uh, those crimp, that crimping tool is complete crap. So let's just put this right here and we're just going to press this firmly and now we can take our set of pliers and just squeeze this all the way making sure that we get a clean cut this should be good yeah i'm just going to squeeze it a little bit more just to make sure okay we should be good now so now that we have this connected uh, we're gonna take our end terminal for that for that T tap. Um, it should come with the T tap kit. We're just gonna be sticking this on the end of here, making sure it clicks. There we go. So now that we got that here, we can uh, crimp a wire here. And then this wire is going to run here and go down to that hole. So let's try doing that. Let's get some wire. Let's see. How much do you think we need? I'd say this is a good amount of wire. 
So we're running the wire through this hole. And yeah, we'll cut the correct length we need. Okay, so we have the cable here and we ran the cable all the way down through that hole. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, gonna uh, cut some of this rubber stuff off and plug it into the crimp. So let's strip some wire. Okay, so we're gonna twist this and stick it in here. Okay. Now we can crimp this with our our uh, pliers. So nice and tight. Nice and tight, there we go. Solid connection. So let's try to wire this a little bit better. Maybe we can move this down over here. Uh, try to get it away from the engine because it's kind of hot. And yeah, that should be okay. We might want to secure this with a few zip ties. Okay, so now since we wired this up to the ignition coil, um, let's try to find a ground. So I already found a ground actually. It's really convenient. Right here, there's this little thing right here which is connected to the body and it already has a crimping thing on so I'm pretty sure that this would work so now I got a wire cut and I'm just gonna attach this wire to this uh, crimp right here so I'm gonna strip the wire again and then clamp it down I had to test all of the fuses to, to see which ones were which so anyway this one that's 30 right here this one that I'm touching this is uh, fuse number one, which controls the right headlight. And then this is just nothing, this one. They just put something here. And number 15 here, the second one, is number two. And number two controls the left headlight. And so here's a really useful fuse box diagram. So please pause this to review all the fuses. Okay, so now we're gonna use these uh, fuse tap things. Um, so I'm going to be plugging the one for the, the lights for the tachometer into fuse number one. So I actually ended up tapping into fuse number nine because fuse number nine only turned on when the ignition was on. So I'm going to unplug this, uh, replace it with this fuse tap, and put this fuse in the fuse tap and then connect it with the cable at the end. And that's going to be my source for the light. Over here we have our fuse tap. So in place of uh, fuse number one, I'm going to be plugging this in. For this new accessory, um, this is just to power the lights for the tachometer. I'm going to be sticking a 5 amp fuse for the top, which is going to go for the tachometer. So let's plug this in. 5. Okay, so we got the 5 amp fuse for the top one. And then for the bottom one, we're going to use the original fuse, which was used for the right headlight. So we're going to be taking this one, this one, out, and sticking this into the, the fuse top. There we go. So we got the 5 on the top and the 30 on the bottom. And then we're going to plug this in place of that fuse. Okay, so we got the fuse tap in, and now we have this extra wire, which we can run, um, we can crimp another wire here and and then add that to the tachometer. So, good, so we got the lighting working. Now let's set up the power. Okay, so the last uh, fuse that we're gonna tap into is the radio fuse, the radio and ignition fuse. So those power the radio and, and uh, or actually no, not the ignition, the lighter, the lighter fuse thing. So. Um, that's number seven, so this is one, and then so seven is going to be at the very, very end. So we're going to unplug this one and replace this one with a fuse tap. We got our new fuse tap. Uh, let's uh, wa let's plug in the fuses again. So uh, the top fuse, I really don't know how much power the amp is supposed to run at, or the tachometer is supposed to run at, but so I'll just put a, I'll put five. I'm sure it can run off of five amps. So, so five goes on the top because this powers the new accessory. So now since we got both 
fuses into this fuse top. Let's plug this one into our number seven fuse. Okay. So now we got two crimp ends right here. And we have another one for ground. But then we, or no, we have this wire coming off the ground. So we're gonna crimp this wire. And then all we have to do is just attach all these wires onto the tachometer. And then we should have the tachometer all wired up. Okay, so now we're gonna attack, uh, attach some more wire to these fuse ends. So this one and that one. And then we're gonna run this wire all the way up and then to the tachometer. For my own reference, but blue tape is gonna power the headlights. The white tape is ground and the clear tape is the ignition coil signal. And the other one, other color is going to be the power. So according to the video, the green wire powers the is goes to the ignition coil signal. The red wire goes to the power. The black wire powers the ground and the white wire goes to the headlights. Okay, so I just realized one really crucial mistake. So uh, last time I, I tapped into the black wire, but it turns out that this is the positive wire, I believe. So instead you wanna tap into this red wire right here, this red one, not the black one. Do not tap into the black one. That'll just waste your time and make you really frustrated. So tap into the, the red and white wire going that's going into the coil for your ignition signal. Okay, so after wiring, after wiring everything up, we got the tachometer, the lights are working, everything works. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a pain in the butt to mount this, but we got it on. Uh, and look, I press the gas. It works. So to sum things up, uh, to install this tachometer, I needed to ground um, the tachometer, I needed to power it, I needed to uh, provide a source for the light, and I needed to splice a wire into the ignition coil wire. So let me just go over everything that I did really quickly. So over here, I have a ground, as you can see, it's, it's screwed into the body. And I crimped it down with this connector. And then I used fuses number nine. So fuse number nine and fuse number seven right here. The fuse number nine I used to power the lighting. Fuse number seven was used for the power. So fuse number seven is for the radio and the cigarette lighter. And fuse number nine was for the backup light and the turn signals. So those are the fuses that I used. And again, I just, I used the fuse tap to put the, or in place of the fuse. Uh, that way I could get this extra wire running uh, to provide the power. So and then I, I just, I moved these wires up and attached them to the tachometer right here. And then so for the ignition coil wire, what I did was I attached it to the to this red and white wire over here. I used a T-tap and I just uh, used a pair of pliers to squeeze this T-tap onto the wire. That way I could get an extra wire coming out, this yellow wire coming out as my signal wire for the tachometer. So yeah, I just clamped this down. We got the signal wire right here. I ran the signal wire around here and then there's a little hole there so I stuck it through there and then I went back around, wired it around the, the, the dashboard and got it all the way over there. And so remember, the black wire, so this tachometer came with four wires, right? The black wire was for the ground the green wire was for the ignition coil single signal. The red wire was for the power to the tachometer and the white wire was for the lighting. So yeah, I just uh, crimped all of the corresponding wires that, it, that I attached to the corresponding wires of the tachometer wires. And yeah, the tachometer works. So yeah, that's all I needed to do 
Uh, it actually took me a long time. This is the first time I've ever done this. So it took me like five hours, but hopefully it won't take you guys this long because you guys won't have to figure this out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, just like ask in the comment section. And yeah, please like this video. And if you want to see more cool things I do with this 1994 Geo Tracker, uh, you can subscribe if you want. But yeah.